Welcome to Vlogmas Day 10. Hello my friends, <laughs> it is day 10 of Vlogmas, it is a little after 4 o'clock and I am just picking up my camera today. Today I made the executive decision to be really gentle with myself and show myself the same amount of grace and love and understanding I give to so many others freely. And to be unapologetic about needing something and needing help. I think so often we look at that as a sign of weakness and I actually think it's the sign of the greatest strength. Also, I just want to take a minute and say thank you for all the love, particularly all the messages over on Instagram. You guys sent so many DMs, little quotes, all those things. And I also just want you guys to know that like Vlogmas is not stressing me out. Like I'm not, I, all is well. It was just one of those days. But I'm happy I slept well last night. Things are good. I had such amazing support from my friends today who just knew I had a rough day. One of my favorite moments is one of my friends texted me and just said, how are you doing? And I texted her back, I was like, did you talk to someone or watch last night's video? Like who told you to check on me? And her response was my heart told me to. So I'm so, blessed to have so many people. I think it's also really important that you that you see like the truth and I could have forced it and hit it and just said like everything is great and wonderful and been chipper and fake but that's not who I am. So I had made the decision to be really honest and true bravery and I do struggle with stress and anxiety and anxiousness and really a lot of self-doubt and bad self-talk. Like I'm not I'm not alone in that. There are so many of us relate to that. And I think in Vlogmas, it's the perfect time for that to arise because you guys see a vlog on a weekend here or there, one video of a week. But in Vlogmas, you're seeing every day, every single day, in a really challenging time of our history. And don't get me wrong, I am so incredibly blessed and so lucky and I'm incredibly, incredibly fortunate, but I still have those days where things get away from me, and yesterday was one of them. I could have hit it and gotten through and faked it, but I think it's important for you to know. But I'm excited to dive in today. Like I said, I was really gentle with myself. I still worked, and I still was productive, but I also left some space for myself. So Steven is still working, his office door is closed, and I am quietly going about the house. We're gonna make some Indian food tonight. Actually, Steven's gonna make it. I think he just bought like some curry. I'm not gonna make it from scratch like I normally do as you guys have seen. But uh, yeah, we're just gonna have a very low key Vlogmas day 10 evening. And can we all just take in the fact that Taylor Swift is surprising us with a new album tonight. She is single-handedly rescuing 2020. I also think like the timing of it is perfect. There's nothing to lift my spirits more than a Taylor Swift album. So I'm really looking forward to listening to it and uh, enjoying it over the weekend. And I'll be sharing all of my thoughts about it. My friends, just feel all your feels, be gentle with yourself, give yourself the same kindness that you would give to others and that's it. You are doing a great job. Even if your great job is just surviving, you can do hard things and you have survived 100% of your toughest days. 
All right, let's get this evening rocking and rolling. <laughs> which I don't know exactly what that entails just yet. I'm walking outside right now because Steven asked if I had looked at the snowflakes through the windows and I haven't. And he said they look really, really nice. Oh, they do look really good from the windows. They look really cute. Let's spy in on Steven. He's still on a Zoom call. Living his best life. All right. We'll sneak back in through the sliding glass door in the back. I had to walk out that way so Bubby would not bark and cause a scene. Also, look how beautiful the arrangement still is. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm thrilled with it. Just for reference, this is the Pinot Noir I'm having tonight. <laughs> Steven picked it up, so I know it was reasonably priced. <laughs> and it's really good. Ballard Road from Oregon. It's a 2018. It's very good. All right, day 10. Aw. Day 10 is another tree. Bridget, I hope you have all the pieces this time. And friends, if you don't, you know I will mail it to you. Day 10. 1802 actually day 10 is right here it's a solid moisturizer that's exciting i don't think i've ever used a solid moisturizer oh we got a pulse point oil and it's calm beautiful i love a good pulse point oil you all crushed gnomes in the homes so here was one of our gnomes hidden in the tree you also and i cannot believe it you also saw this little fella in the cabinet. And then the last gnomes in the homes was hidden up here with our houses. We will play gnomes in the homes again just because it was fun. Maybe we'll do it this weekend and I'll let Steven hide them this time. Pour some sugar on me. These are the red apple caramels. That sounds delicious. Here's one of my friends that checked on me today, Rebecca, day 10. Look how cute this tree is. I'm taking my own advice and it's a little after 4.30. I'm drawing myself a bath. I'm going to pop in my favorite bath bomb. And I'm gonna start a book that I've been really looking forward to starting but I haven't given myself time to, and it's Agatha Christie's Midwinter Murder. I'll leave it linked down below, as well as some of my favorite bath products with this tray because that is absolutely one of them. It's now a little after five and I'm actually gonna throw in my favorite sheet mask by Karuna. It's just a really great hydrating masks. I'll leave it linked down below for you, but it's amazing. I'm like, where is your other daddy? What is going on? Oh, he's a good boy. I'm not a good boy. I was, this is his worst Zoom performance ever. Or was it maybe his best? I don't know. The, whatever's in this box better be worth it because... Uh, it's the limited edition William Sonoma Grinch collection and it's been pre-ordered since like October. Is that, does that go with Yes, that? the platter came first. So this is this one and then look the Who's are around the inside. So basically I got embarrassed in front of more than 100 attorneys 
for two mugs from Balloon Sonoma. Yes, but they're two different mugs. So that's the sled one. And then here is the Christmas tree one with the Who's. So we can add them to our outrageous mug collection. We have really trimmed down the mug collection. Yeah, but now we're adding more. That's what you do. You get rid of the ones you don't use and then you buy new ones. I think of all of these mugs, I use two of them. This no, one. you use all those ones in that box. Oh, out of those mugs. Yeah, no, and even the Starbucks collection mugs down here, I only use like one or two of them. We, then why do you have them all? Because they're souvenirs from all our trips. You're the only person that buys lame souvenirs. Can we live our, oh, this is when I went to New Orleans for a conference. This is Australia, we went to Australia. I don't remember you buying one in Australia. I didn't. My parents went later and picked one up for me. Uh, but we were in Australia. Well, Toronto, yeah, it's close by. I broke your France one and threw it away, but that was years ago. The Paris one? Yeah, it was like a year ago. Why were you even? I broke up getting it out of the dishwasher. <laughs> but you've never noticed. I broke it like a year ago. Well, thank you for admitting. Um, you try to hide stemware that you break of mine. Kansas City. And a Seville. Wow. So you can see are all these places that we've been. Also, I just got to point out that Steven has a button-down shirt untucked with joggers. Well, this is what... Well, this is what a hundred more than a hundred attorneys saw me when I had to get up out of my seat, grab the Bubba's, and throw him out of the room. My incredible partner is making dinner tonight and the fire department has not come. Come on. I've made curry many, many times before. Can you tell it's them not... your curry recipe? Yeah. Um, well, I mean, it's not really a recipe. So I don't rely on the microwavable rice. I actually make my rice from, uh, from the bag, okay? So I have this big old bag of rice from BJ's. Um, so I follow the directions. They're listed right on the back here. And that's, in, that's in the green pot. And then the curry, two chicken breasts that I chop up. Um, and I cheat on that. I have, I have, we have jars of curry sauce. I know you make your own curry. He doesn't make his curry. Um, so you can buy pre-made curry jars at the grocery store. And I had the hot one. Um, and actually, these, this brand of curry is actually very good. Maya Kaimal. Um, ma we're doing the Madras curry. It's the spicy curry. They make curry from all areas of India. So we have the Maya, the spicy. So we're doing spicy today. What do you think about that? We also have garlic naan, which I handmade from flour and, I don't know, Cilantro and garlic. I don't know. You handmade? Wow. Beautiful. I, I handmade from Wegmans. I don't think we did yesterday. Oh my gosh, I don't think we've done many days. Ninth, eighth, eighth. It's the tenth. I know, we're doing them in order. Uh, caramel shortbread. Oh, I like that one. Okay, we'll save that one for you. The ninth. Mary Mistletoe. Oh, I love Mary Mistletoe. Mm. Can it I have some Mary so Mistletoe? Hey, you probably would eat it too. And then the tent. Oh, what is that? Silk Dragon Jasmine. Oh, I want some. It's green tea. Oh, there's, there's the timer. At midnight, what's happening? Alexa, off. So, we were watching Good Morning America this morning and I was half asleep. You were in a bad mood on the couch. <laughs> I, wasn't all, in, I wasn't in a bad mood. You were in a funk. So all of a sudden, they, they announce that Taylor Swift is coming out with her new album at midnight. And you went from, it was like a child on Christmas. I wish I could give you an album of her music for Christmas because I think you would be the happiest person in the world. Ever since your last shenanigans, daddy's not gonna help you. Nope. So I will help you, because you will not bite me. All right, it's day 10, although we have day nine to open. Let's open day nine first. Oh, good boy. 
Oh, you've made a mess. All right, my friends, it is time for us to do our gratitude jar. All right, what's your gratitude? That I took the day off of work today. My gratitude is for you, and I'm grateful for you, despite being in a funk the last day, you went out of your way to take care of me. Aww. I am just relaxing and finished editing up until this point. I have Taylor Swift's Disney Plus special of Folklore playing just to set the mood for the big release this evening. But I'm actually going to end it here and I'm gonna end it like I end all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others and be kind. Kindness is free, give to everyone until next time my friends, which will be tomorrow and I cannot wait to spend the weekend with you. Bye bye. <laughs>